you know, what he's doing. I buy you a fancy Mexican meal and you're feeding it to a mutt. Real fancy. You have any idea what that is? What? Free chicken. What? That's what the locals call it. Colds, headaches, hangovers. Cures anything. Iguana. That's what they say. What about indigestion? Iguana taco. Salvador. Yeah, that was shit. What about Angola, the food was good there, right? Shit. Yeah, Rhodesia. Shit. Hamburg. Shit. So if it's not New York, it's... You got it, shit. I think you're wasting away. You're gonna get a job in New York. That won't be a problem. Plenty of assholes there. Time to move, Joe.
don't want to think of them. Where is he? The client still has him. What client? We're going there now. Okay, drive. So the client's an oil sheet, no less. Used to rule some huge stretch of desert till his tribe kicked him out. Been living here in exile ever since. Anyway, Shiki was loaded and he wanted a job done. Hunter took the contract, then he ran. They caught him at the airport. And? and you know the rest. You got a package. Yeah, I've got it. What's the job? Just came with a price tag, no details. Hunter took it cold. Why would he do that? Six million dollars. A big score, Danny. Too bloody big for Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Well, why'd you offer it to him? He wanted the money. And you were out, remember? Yeah, still am. I'm done with killing. Yeah, well, maybe killing ain't done with you. Hunter needs the old Danny. The best in the biz. The one with balls of steel. You remember him, right? Look, he comes down to this. You don't do this job? Hunter's a dead man. They're waiting for you.
Danny. No, Danny. No, 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 no. No. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Am I? Am I all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Got to go. Get away from here. Go, 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 go. I'm here for you anyway. I was thinking about the girls. The sign. Me too. Me too. What's that supposed to mean? It's tough putting food on the table. We should feed him. Six million, no questions. Yeah. He must have known that was a bullshit job. Yeah, I know. Fucking SAS. One way ticket for sure. Well, you took the job and I'm not leaving you here. Hey! Give this man a drink. I didn't miss you. Every day you were out of this game was a good day for me. I was proud of you when you got out. Stay out. Too late. You should have stayed away. Or we'll run faster. I'm in. 
Fraser. <laughs> Anne Fraser. And had red hair for the grass. <laughs> and weird red gum boots. <laughs> With eyes on them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So no matter what you say or do, they'll say nothing. And for Danny, this is the best special forces regiment in the world. The mate, the Navy seals look like a bunch of cupcakes. And not only that, you're trying to take down three of their geezers and make it look like an accident. All I'm asking is give us some thought. Take a day more if you want. I'm going anyway. Of course I'm in, you silly bastard. It's what we do, right? <sighs> anyway, I got a school set with him. I tried out for them and I was in the Paris. Did Hereford the whole fucking lot. What, and they wouldn't have you? You want this bottle shoved up your ass? Are you upset? Would you like a lolly? I'd love a lolly. Strawberry or fuck you? Maya. In. One. Uh, six million reasons? So what's the split? After the agent takes his slice, 50-50. Between you two. 50-50. How about you? I'm in this for Hunter. A wonderfully touching. Touching, but fucking stupid. She could only idea one of the killers. We need you to come up with the names on the other two. Start with the one they killed at Murbat. So the one target we do have is Stephen Douglas Harris. Stayed on in a mine after the war. Ended up flying chubbers for the Sun's armed forces. Right. Juice junkie. And Mara will head there to track him down. Boss. Danny.
serving her mind. At Murbat. That was a that was a day, wasn't it? What about Murbat? That was a right mess, eh? Wasn't good. Had a mate there. some kind of recce. That was a dirty war. What we did there was questionable. A man is a bloody hornet's nest. Right, but this I was poking at it. I want to know who he is. I say we send a local. Any objections? Noted. I'll leave you to choose the right man. I'd also like it noted that we are ex-SAS. The men we protect are ex-SAS. And you, Spike, though you hate to admit it, are ex-SAS. Remember, we're businessmen and bankers now. What we do here is illegal. We can leave no trace of our activities. That's why we're called the Featherman. Because our touch is light. That's far a good man. Like the SAS lost him, they lost a good soldier. Yes, but the problem is he thinks he's still in the SAS. Well, someone has to do the dirty work. None of us want blood on our pinstripes. Listen, I've got no problem with blood. What worries me? Is ink. Make sure he keeps us out of the newspapers. What's doing, boss? Your Arabic's still good, right? Good enough. You're going to Oman. I've got a bloke I want you to tail out there. You lucky bastard. Exact match to the show step? 100%.
your friend did what you couldn't. <laughs> wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't, couldn't. Is it Ben you say? The news for the old man, not for you. What do you mean? Three brothers dead, riding in the sand. You didn't want to get revenge yourself. Scared of getting your hands dirty? Better get used to it. No palace for you going. A tent to hold the shit in. He's your worst nightmare. And he's gonna do it. And when he does, you're out of here. When I find you in that desert, I pray God keeps my aim. True. Bad. The artist's name is on the back. Have them talk to him. One more thing. My boys had some trouble in Oman. Somebody was telling him. We'll have to have a look into that, won't we? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, that's how you get it so lifelike then. Sorry? Photos of the lads. Isn't that like cheating? I'm recreating an historical event. Accuracy is everything. Mm. That Murba paint stopped me cold when I saw it. You're a Murba? And a mate there. I was hoping you might have an address for him. You with the SAS? Was. But your best bet for an address would be regimental association. I would have I spent the last few years plying my trade overseas. And goal in that. I come to you unofficial like. Well, I uh, might have something somewhere. Just give me a few minutes. Be my guest. I don't bullshit you're asking about Merba. He yeah, claims he's with the regiment. No, there's no way it was to say yes. Yeah, I can smell it off him. Ah, he's a bloody fake. says the call was cut off, but Gowling said that there was somebody there asking about Merba. It has to be our guy. And what would you have us do about it? Find him. 
If we don't, there's going to be another murder and it will be one of our murder boys. Then who are they? Well, they're pros for sure. If these guys are going after the SAS, they're going to be top-class professional assassins. They must have a string of hits behind them. But they're completely under the radar. All we've got is our man. A man? We all know our people went too far. A man, Murbat. It all needs to be left alone. You should try telling that to the Welshman. He's right. We have to find this phony Welshman and his crew. The file says an SAS officer killed the Sheikh's son at the Battle of Murbat. Warwick Stephen Crick. He was the only officer there that night, killed everything that moved. He's our worst nightmare, a real hot shot. Paintings of him the lot. Where'd you get this? The bloke who did the paintings. Don't you worry about that, all right? He shuffled off this morning, caught him. That wasn't part of the deal. Come on, shit happens when you play in the deep end of the pool, Danny. Why can't you two stick to the plan, huh? Well, you've been watching this, Craig. What's your next big idea? His wife's in hospital. But he's not training for the selection march. He spends most days there. So why don't we hit him there? No, not his family. Give me everything you know on that march. We'll see where that goes. survivors in Britain. I've got locals on the other three. You get the celebrity. It's Warwick Craig. You're kidding. Wish I was. Welcome to hell. The SAS selection march. 41 miles, 55 pounds of gear. They lose someone every couple of years. Don't you even think about it. Why not? During the march, this place is crawling with SAS. Yeah, you said it yourself. It's an accident waiting to happen. How are you going to catch him, then? He's been trying for months. He's like a greyhound. Just have to slide down, won't we? Insulin, pure propamide. Initial here. Anything good? No. Craig's still in there with his missus.
couldn't fucking believe that somebody was watching Crick. What? Mm. You think he's from the same stable as the shooter in the desert? Maybe. Who's good? Whatever he is, it's too late. Ah, good, good. Chroma slows him down, insulin, sends him into shock. Hypothermia to you. And when were you planning on getting it to him? Before the march. How? It's an SAS base, Danny, that you trained in. So think back. The security lay at the lot. You're nuts. What are you gonna do? Man, you really are one crazy son of a bitch, Danny. Come 
Good boys in Angola. <laughs> I have no idea how you meant to eat us. So, <clears throat> shot. Who's on our ass? I'm on it, don't worry. Look, there's only one more to go. After this is done, I'll get you boys a nice cushy job in the sun. <laughs> There is no after this. I'm a vulture. I live off killers. Gives me a unique perspective. Have you heard of the two percent? That's you. Davis, the SA, that's all you love. Mercenaries, hitmen, heroes. You're all part of that two percent of men who are natural killers. That's why you'll never get out. You can't run away from who you are, Danny. That's not who I am. That's what I've done. And I can do something else. Yeah, yeah. That's all nice and good, but let's just take care of business first, shall we? Your third target, Major Simon McCann. Mad Simon McCann of late. How'd you find him? Asked around. It was easy. These days, he's your basic cash for trash mercenary. He's a sitting duck. I did not tell you I came bearing gifts. You know where to find me? You don't trust that snake, do you? He's lying. Yeah, how do you know? His lips were moving. He just gave us a third target. He's done nothing on that last file. Well, someone's onto us. I want Hunter out of there. I want this finished. I want to be around to enjoy the money when it is. The first thing you should buy is a pair of balls. We're going after McCann. Show me a beautiful woman. I'll show you a bloke that's sick of her shit. <laughs> Shut up. Roger that. <laughs> Damn, that's him. Major Simon McCann. Served in the Sultan's forces till he was pensioned out four years ago. Who drives that green jack? 
What's his name? His name's Spike Logan. He's an ex-soldier of some kind. He got his eyes shot out. Plenty of heroes somewhere. He's got no job, and he keeps odd hours. Hmm. Don't you know who these guys are? I mean, secrets being your bread and butter. Don't worry about it. I do worry about it. You should do. Every move my guys make, these lot are waiting. If you ask me, I think it's time you put those fancy shoes of yours on a few throats. Yes, but no one is asking you. You'll be interviewing for a security position, Mr. McCann. Actually, we got your name from mutual friend, the SAS. So we'll see you Tuesday, 17th at 10. We look forward to it. All right, my son. He'll be there. Good. I don't get it. McCann lives here. He'll be here for the interview, Tuesday at 10. He'll take this ride. The Boston Briggs. Perfect. They weren't perfect in Boston. I wasn't at the controls. Got ten days. Ten days? The quicker we get this done, the better. I'm going to need to bring in some help. Okay. Okay, just like that. McCann's being watched. How are you going to get a confession out of him? We aren't. We'll fake it. Bit of bad line and camera work. You can be him. All we'll do is play back what you admit to in the reports. <laughs> who killed Craig and Harris. The authorities saw no evidence of foul play in either case. What are you talking about? No evidence. I've got the evidence right here. Everybody in this room knows that those men were killed. Everybody knows that McCann is going to be next. It's enough, Spike. We have to do something. Well, we could put it to the vote. Yes, but that would require the full committee. And uh, it'll have to wait. Living with it. 
No ID. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. Who the fuck is he? That shouldn't have happened. That should not have fucking happened. Take it easy, Danny. Take it easy. We were out of there clean. Done.
nothing to do with that. Yeah, this one. Oh, phone number. Great work. That part of Mincemeat was our best chance of finding out who these bastards are. Print him and trace that bloody number. You fucking idiots! business. 
just for some shit travel agent. Runs most of it in and out of every shithole in the world. Come on.
Lorenzo again, I'll put it between his eyes. Harris, the pilot. On his film, he said another soldier killed my brother. He was winding us up. He thought it was some kind of a joke. This was just published. The author served with the SAS. He describes an ambush where he killed the guerrilla leader. Harris did not kill Hussein. You gave me his name. You said he was guilty. Well, such is Allah's will. Allah's will? You had me kill it as a man. The book will be the real killer's confession. I'm a father. I know what your father needs. Oh, 
why is he still alive? Why didn't you kill him? Oh, well, you did that. <laughs> I thought you were the good guys. Who are you? Who do you work for? You and I got a lot in common. Really? You think so? So you're sitting there tied to a chair, and I'm standing here with a gun in my hand. Now you tell me what the fuck this was all about. What? You think this is over? There'll be somebody else. Your boy finds he's gonna die. <laughs> secret societies, particularly when they get in the way of our interests. Do you know how much oil that pathetic crust of desert is floating on? Do you know what those contracts are worth? Three men's lives. That's right. That's right. We deliver the killers, son number four goes home, and when Sheiky re-ups the contracts, we get favorable consideration. A bargain? You bastard, you're a patriot who serves his country as those three men did with their deaths. As you will with yours. <laughs>
machines. Danny might have dropped off the radar, but one thing's for sure. He'll come back for her. He'll come through that door with six million dollars, and she won't be there. Who don't just screw out of his ten percent? Yours truly. Boss. Finish this thing for good, you hear, kiddo? That's why I'm here. What about you? Babysitting's over, kiddo. Who says? I say. She's safe. You're the one taking your chances now. Come on. Come on. You walked into a trap last time. You think I'm gonna let you do that again? I told you, girl, you're gonna be coming back to her. You wanna make a liar out of me? No, you're supposed to be gone in her, not interviewing her. Well, I told you, sucker, for a pretty face. Don't deny that. She's keeping us for sure. She doesn't know, does she? Some. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. My old man used to say, life's like licking honey from a thorn. Yeah, what does that mean? Some about good times and bad times. Seems like he's been all thorns for us lately. Both of us. All right, let's finish this. I'll be top cover. Anything goes wrong, I'm coming in. Hey, look, the sheik wants this over. It's in, hand over the photos and help. Yeah? Yeah, there isn't gonna be a problem. From your mouth to God's ears. Don't move till I give the all clear, okay?
Beacon Desert. Have you forgotten something?
call your cab from the airport. Me neither. Wanna come along? 